if a dating quiz is the best distraction from the disaster you've made of your life. But hey, what do I know? You're the one in charge here, Jala. You'd better answer honestly, though. You can't keep any secrets from me. If people are gonna stare, it should be for the right reasons. No way I'd go on a second date. Oh, sure. What's the point of a romantic partner if they're not a status symbol? I like my space. That's just my personality, okay? Huh. I didn't know sarcasm and emotional repression counted as a personality. You just put a smile on your face and say it back, right? Not if you don't mean it. But maybe I do. I mean, how do you know how you feel really? Sometimes you just have to decide, right? Make a plan, carry it through, fake it till you make it. This is why your romantic life is a trash fire. I probably had at least three backup plans, so yeah, no biggie. Speaking of plans... Holy hell! Are you ever planning to call me back, Jala? I haven't heard your voice in six months. Your sister's such a bore. <laughs> Good thing you have me instead. You're the same person. We're really not. You imagined me with her face, but I'm the voice inside your head. I know things about you she could never begin to understand. We're way closer than sisters, Jala. want to be the best. But your best is never enough, is it? And whose fault is that, Ma? We put too much pressure on you, Jala. No wonder you cracked. Just say you're disappointed, Appa. I know you are. I let everyone down. Ouch. Still think it's a good idea to go home? They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? Shut up. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll leave you to skate away your feelings. That's none of your business. Just answer the question, Jala. Tyler? Don't I deserve an answer? Isn't that why you're on a bus back home? Because you owe me an answer? Yeah. You're right. Did you love me, Jala? I did. <laughs> I thought it would help to hear you say that. But it just makes everything worse. I loved you, Jala. But you already knew that. You broke my heart. Before the results, why don't we just ask your exes what they think of you? Should be... illuminating. Selfish. Liar. Arrogant. Cruel. Cheetah. Heartless. But have you ever asked yourself why you need to be liked so much? Timber Hills, our hometown. I still don't get why we're back here. You're like a serial killer driven to return to the scene of the crime. 
I left things messy, but I didn't actually murder anyone. Just your parents, hopes and dreams. I know. Come to think of it, you kind of died here. The person you were supposed to be did, anyway. Coming back here was a mistake. I have a lot of practice making mistakes. Maybe I'm getting good at them. You're being selfish. As usual. I don't know why I even bother trying to help you. You're hopeless. We can't hang out at the diner all night. You need to call someone to give you a ride home. Who's it gonna be? I could call home and hope that dad picks up instead of mom. It's after 10 p.m. What if you give dad a heart attack? Mom's had him on a low cholesterol diet since we were kids. You really want to test that. You know he sneaks cashew nuts from the cupboard when she's not looking. Aruni's probably still up. That's gonna go well. You haven't called her in months. Why would you? You have me to talk to instead. I'm clearly the superior version. But crucially, you can't drive a car. Wow. Way to rub it in. You think I like only existing in your head? <sighs> Maybe I should just call Tyler and get it over with. I mean, yes, Tyler's your ex-bestie. But she's also your ex. THE ex. And given the way you ended things... Probably hates my guts. Probably. Okay, she definitely hates me. Sorry, sis. The truth hurts, but it'll set you free. Uh, Jala, remember when I said coming back here was a mistake? Is it a good time to say I told you so? What? Already? I hope you're ready for some long-delayed emotional catharsis. Because your third-grade boyfriend just walked in the door. Sergio? You look surprised to see me, Jala. Or are you just admiring the view? There's a lot to admire. <laughs> are those biceps even real? Oh, 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 yeah. I filled out a little. Thanks for noticing. A little? <laughs> he looks like he's been bench pressing Buicks, maybe even eating them. What happened to the weedy nerd from Geography Club? So. It's been a while. Three years, two months, and 14 days. <clears throat> Did I just say that out loud? I take everything back. This is the most fun I've had in months. Sergio's had it bad for Jala since Mrs. Garcia made them project partners in third grade. His crush survived the geography club after school incident, puberty, and Jala's extremely public on-again, off-again romance with Tyler all through high school. His thirst is kind of pathetic, but you can't deny he has stamina. <clears throat> anyway, how's Jennifer? Probably in Seattle with her new girlfriend. Or in hell, with any luck. You're single. <laughs> uh, seriously. Would you believe I am too? Oh. Come on, Sergio. Let's dance. Did I mention I spent a year abroad? I learned a lot of new moves in Milan. I hope you're ready, because I have a few new moves of my own. What do I have to lose? Your dignity. Oh, wait. Just remember, Jala, there are no winners in a psychodrama battle with your third grade boyfriend. Only losers. Just kidding. You could both win the prize of friendship and emotional maturity. How does that sound? 
actually kind of nice. Oh, look, you're growing as a person already. Painting. Painting. You turned me down at prom. I'm not gonna let you turn me down again. Oh. I still think about our first kiss. You remember? On the trip to the Seattle Aquarium in third grade. It was so magical. Our lips touching, bathed in the blue-green light of the tank, surrounded by moon jellies. Ugh. Why is everyone so obsessed with firsts? The patriarchy? Right? And most first times are disappointing anyway. What, what, what was I disappointing? Ugh. You had sweaty little hands. My hands were not sweat. Okay, maybe they were a little. I was probably really nervous. That's not the point. Third grade was pretty traumatic for me, you know? My parents got divorced, my dad left town. And never really looked back. His mom spoiled him rotten to make up for it, which didn't work, obviously. You're the only good thing I can remember from that time. We shared something special, Jala. says I'm irresistible, and my mom is always right. My mom says she sees girls look at me everywhere I go. But you're the only one I have eyes for. Then maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Hey, Jala, have you noticed Sergio's really thirsty for you? You should try using that to your advantage. Indeed. Flirting? Or are we fighting? Why not both? I'm not losing to a guy wearing formal shoes to a diner. They're Italian leather! I bought them on my year abroad! Indeed. Ugh. I'm so sick of entitled dicks like you. Your dad's been giving me mustache grooming tips. Is it paying off? It's every girl's dream to date a man who takes grooming tips from her father. Right? I thought you'd like it. Why do mediocre dudes think they deserve the world? Because... We run it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Why are you so mean to me? Oh, please. You'd love it. can't deny we look good together, Jala. Think about it. You and me, we could run this whole town. Or at the very least, my dad's used car empire. Maybe you want to live in your daddy's shadow your whole life. But all I want is to get away from everyone's expectations. Okay, fair enough. I'll support you. You can do anything you want with me by your side. You can't buy your way into everything, you know. Maybe not everything, but you'd be surprised what you can put a price on. That's the most depressing thing I've heard all week. And trust me when I say, I've had a really depressing week. See? That's exactly what I need in my life, Jala. Someone to tell me the truth. Even when I don't want to hear it. I can't let you go again. I 
I've been waiting a long time to get a few things off my chest. I love you, Jala. I have loved you since our hands met reaching for the same tub of lime green Play-Doh in third grade. Love me? This is the longest conversation we've had in over a decade. Yeah? And whose fault is that? Uh, yours, because you're so catastrophically weird when we do talk. This thing between us, it's real, Jala, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Dent. This is Sergio's inner world. In here, he's the person he desperately wishes he could be out there. Cool, smooth, invulnerable to attack. Impeccably waxed. Focus. If you want to get anywhere, you have to shatter that invulnerability by summoning a terrifying psychological specter. Like most South Asian men, all it takes to destroy Sergio's ego is a single word from his mom. But since we can't bring her into this, we have to summon the next best thing, our mom. Indeed. your mom into this you started it i guess it's a good sign you want me to meet your parents with all the toxic masculinity sergio's got going on i kind of suspect he'd be really easy to put into a rage try it indeed like the fact that I stick around even when you insult me? Why don't we talk about what it says about you, hmm? I think it says something about both of us, actually. Am I agreeing with Sergio? I think I need to lie down. Indeed. kind of sweet when you were following me around at school. And now? And now? You're more of a savory snack. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I'm kind of busy right now. Hey, genius, if you go down, I go down too. So you better do something about it. Indeed. Indeed. Great school behind, Sergio. Oh. I'm 
sorry I came on so strong, Jala. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. I'm glad we figured that out. Because... I kinda need a favor. Where's the emergency? You told me one of the neighborhood cats got run over. Yeah, about that. I lied. Uh, so, I take it you didn't get me an interview with one of the skate punks? No, better. Sergio has some big news. Jala's back! She's in Timberhills! And she's not with Jennifer anymore. Hmm, who could have seen that coming? So what? So... We're all Jala's exes. I thought everyone would want to know. Jelly Beans is back? That is big news. So, did you confess your love? Or did you throw up before you got the words out? Uh, I did. Confess, I mean. Not throw up. Sorry, Tyler. I know you two have your whole big doomed romance thing. Had. There's a crater where we used to be. It's extinct. I'm over her. Whatever, Tyler. I'm gonna make her fall for me, and then crush her. That doesn't sound very emotionally healthy. Oh, what isn't healthy about long overdue revenge for being humiliated in middle school by your first crush? Ooh, fiery and gorgeous. How have we never met before? I'd remember you. Down, boy. She doesn't play for your team. Ahem. I was thinking we could all get closure. Maybe even be friends. <laughs> oh, wait, you're joking, right? The rest of you can do whatever the hell you like. But trust me on this. The last thing I want is to be Jala Jairatna's friend. Jala, you're awake. As you can see, I brushed my teeth and got dressed without setting the house or myself on fire. That's not actually reassuring, Jala. As we all know, you can cause plenty of catastrophe without burning the house down. I made breakfast, but don't expect to be waited on hand and foot while you're staying here. Since Aruni moved out, I'm out of the habit of cleaning up after messy children. Did you guys get into a fight or something? No, Jala. I'm not so terrible a mother that both my children feel the need to flee into the night. It wasn't about you. Liar. Well, it wasn't just about you. Oh, yes. Your dad and me staying up worried sick night after night, wondering whether you were okay. Wondering what we had done wrong. Abort mission, Jala. Abort. Abort. What we did to deserve being cut out of your life? Of course. None of that was about us. Did she leave town like I did? Nobody has quite left Timber Hills like you did. She has her own place in town. It's not far. She comes for dinner a few times a week. Though that might change now that you're back home. Are you and Dad doing okay on your own? Empty nest and all that? Aruni is not the one who's been giving us sleepless nights. Better question is, are you okay? I take it that girl finally got tired of you. Just say I told you so, because you did, the night I left town. Did I? 
I can't even remember. It's been so long. To be fair, it was more a screaming argument than a conversation. Well, you were right about her. And you were right about me. I know you, Jala. Or at least, I thought I did. Maybe you should talk to your sister instead of interrogating me. She's not answering my texts. I wonder why. You better make it right with her, Jala. And soon. She's getting married at the end of the month. That's kind of important news to share, Mom. Usually, I'm all aboard the blame Mom for everything train. But I think this signal failure is on you, sweetie. This is your mess, Jala. You clean it up. Morning, Jala Banana. It's good to see you, Apache. You too, sweetie. You know, you're my favorite younger daughter. Hmm? You're home. Back where you belong. That's all that matters. I'm not sure this is where I belong, Dad. But I knew I had to come back to move forward. Barely even back home and already talking about leaving. Hmm. I love your wandering heart, Jala. But in this world, it's just so easy to get lost. I need to talk to Aruni. Do I even know who she's marrying? Do you even know if you're invited to the wedding? Amma! It's Aruni's choice, Jala. Not ours. Don't look so defeated, Jala. This is a small town full of gossiping aunties. How hard could it be to track your sister down if you put your mind to it? <laughs>